We're gonna make a dish that my crazy aunt used to make before she died in the bath. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Cooking Simulator Shelter. What? What? Yeah, the apocalypse has happened and now we must survive. What are we gonna cook? I guess we're just cooking for ourselves. We're no longer like a restaurant tour. I can only imagine someone coming in and giving me a three-star review on my like condor, on my, on my condor burger. Which, by the way, will be delicious. So, this is actually a DLC that they were talking about, like, it's an April Fool's joke. And then everyone was just like, that would be dope. And they're like, really? And they're like, yeah. Well, well, now we're making it. And they did. And it's out right now. It is $10 only until, I believe, until November 25th-ish? Yes? So let's check it out. Cooking Simulator Shelter. Welcome to Sector 12. Play as a lonely chef. Must gain the trust of local camps by cooking satisfying dishes. Oh, okay, so we do have a restaurant. Kinda. Kinda. In a bunker. Kinda. You know? The stories of Sector's inhabitants, the repair of the old satellite, and special orders for the most demanding palates await you. The balls of anybody who survived an apocalypse to have a demanding palate. Um, unrelenting balls. Each completed quest brings you closer to the main goal, finding your family. You will learn completely new recipes full of mutated ingredients and the previously unknown art of preparing skewers. It's not that difficult. Skewer. It's not. I've, I've cooked with, on skewers before. It's not that difficult. That's awesome, actually. Uh, in order to obtain the ingredients for your dishes, you will have to learn the techniques needed to hunt mutants, grow plants, and befriend the local caravan. We're hopping it. Oh, my God. By the end of the 1980s, the old world disappeared in a flash of nuclear explosions. Those that survived were forced to fight for basic resources. Successful, a successive generations of mankind struggle on the hope of one day rebuilding. Growing up in the wasteland, you practiced the art of cooking. You did this for survival, but also to give people a taste of the world they had lost. We're like heroes and crap. You found peace in the day you met your wife and two of the best moments in your life were the times your sons were born. Oh. And then they were murdered. I'm sorry, one day while out hunting you were attacked. Yeah, yeah. You managed to escape returning to your camp only to find it looted and destroyed. The only sign of your family was a note left behind in your wife's handwriting. It simply read, Find us. So, so we went, we went looking. After a long journey, you finally come to Sector 12, a well-populated area near an abandoned and broken down long distance communications satellite. Oh. You discover a small shelter with a well-stocked kitchen. Hmm, a good place to cook and sleep while you try to get the satellite dish operational again. Uh, okay. All right, welcome to the shelter expansion. The journey here was a long and exhausting one, but, you know, there's no time in uh, the rest of for the wastelands. You know, you, you need to get on the road again. On the road again. This time to the satellite dishes we've never been. You are lucky that the gear in the shelter is well-preserved, so you can use it to prepare some supplies for your travel. Travel? Wait, travel? Travel? We don't travel. Not in cooking simulator. It's like a whole game within a game, bro. This is wild. What is this? Open the player's handbook. Oh. Look at this place. Dinner time. Oh, look, there's a window that's a fake window. This is like my nightmare. All right. Survivalist kebab. Oh, we're making kebabs. Eh? Nice. Okay, so we use the pin. Canned meat, barbecue, barbecue sauce, cactus oil. Cactus oil. Okay. Tutorials, quakes, recipes. All right, let's hit the tab. Follow the green line, follow the green line. We go to the fridge to find what, 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 what's, oh. Uh. L. Oh, I opened it. Is that good? Is that a good thing? Look at this place. Okay. Bring the barbecue sauce. You bring the barbecue sauce. Can I get some help? Where are my perks at? All right, so we're learning kebabs. Bring cactus oil. Can I get, I don't know, like, I was going to say a tray. Can I, guess, can I get a tray? Cactus oil is the new olive oil. Mm-hmm. It's a new EVOO. Delicious. Take a skewer and add the canned meat. Skewer. 
Yo, look at these knives, bro. So I don't know whether or not I had to worry about slicing it nicely or getting tetanus. Okay, let's see. Let's grab that. All right, so use this to aim at the canned meat to get the kebab. Uh, okay. Ew. Look at it. Grill for 60 seconds on the grill. Oh, no kidding. Oh, okay. Well, look at this. Okay, grill the 60 seconds, pour... Okay, so grill for 60 seconds on the grill, and then turn off the grill. Pour 10 milliliters of barbecue sauce into a bowl. Why don't we do that first? Gotta be careful. That's way too much. Way too much barbecue sauce. But you know what? We traveled a long way. I keep forgetting, like, where like where am I seeing the milliliters? Where, what, what was happening? Gotta watch out for rads. I feel like I'm gonna fall out. Go ahead and cook for 60 seconds. Ah, control the bottle angle. Yeah, thank you for giving me the tutorial. Thanks. Close you. A lot of a lot of pop-ups popping up here, man. A lot of pop-ups popping up. Canned meat kebab. Spam kebab. I'll find you, son. I'll find you. Mm. Looks like there's a map that's right there, too. I mean, this is wild. Sizzle, sizzle, baby. Sizzle, sizzle. Um, do we have any plates? It's getting too close. Plates. We're dropping plates. A kebab plate. Yes. Put that right there. And you, sir, you are almost done. Look at how beautiful you are. Oh. Delicious, kind of. Turn off the grill. Yes, yes, 100%. What is that? I already got a meat kebab, bro. Already, already got the kebab plate, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm well prepared. Oh, just for a second I thought that this was like at a weird angle. No, that's just a weird plate. All right, so pour 10 milliliters of cactus oil into a bowl. Oh. So we're just... Two separate bowls. Seems... It's kind of wasteful. We'll be cleaning all these bowls up later. There we go. The perfect pour every time. Maybe you want me to pour it into this bowl too? I mean, why not? Yep, that's what they wanted me to do. Okay. So then we take this, fill the pipette with a mixture, 20 milliliters. Oh, look at this. What is this dumb thing? Okay. And we drizzle, drizzle, baby. Drizzle, drizzle. Uh, can I, can I move this? I'd like to move this. Can't move this. Sure. 20 milliliters on this joint. There we go. The pipette also gives you additional options with it. You can take liquids from bottles by using it. Okay, and mix them freely. Emptying the pipette's contents into the container is also easy. Use... Okay, well, I did that, and it didn't move anything. So, if you're unhappy with uh, what you've drawn from the pipette, you can always throw the contents away by using while aiming in the trash can. Oh, okay, that's nifty. But what about, like, put the dish away for serving? I'll put this away to serve at a late... Oh, we got... Oh, the dreaded heat lamps. The dreaded heat lamps. Good stuff. All right. We have made a dish. Nice. Now we have green mushroom soup. Sour cream, cactus oil, broth, potato, green mushrooms. Word. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. The cactus oil. This is like some, this is some sort of, this is something disgusting. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't know what, I don't know what that is. We'll save that for later. All right. Add 700 milliliters of broth to a pot. Oh, now we're going to be cooking this. Nice. How many is in here? About to find out. Ah, it's good. We're fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? Let's put it back. Oh, that's right. We can't. Okay. Okay, fine. Close the, close the, close the fridge. The fridge -merator. All right. Pick up the pot. Will do. Pick up the pot. Add 150 grams of potatoes. We boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Just one potato. It's going to be a hot potato, hot potato. 
All right, 100 grams of mushrooms, one, two, the radioactive, y'all. That just means that it's gonna help us uh, with uh, all the hair. It's gonna help us grow a lot of hair for the winter months. Cook the soup. Will do, bud, will do. Cook the soup, get the sour cream. Get the sour cream, you get the sour cream. I also like how it's in the different containers that they have them in as well. I like that. Bring the cactus oil. Well, how much cactus oil? Because I got like 10 milliliters of this over here. And I'm gonna bring this with over here. Just in case, it's 10 milliliters, we gotta save everything. Cook the soup, that's what I'm doing, bro. All right, turn off the soup. Saving, appreciate it. <laughs> Blend the contents in the, oh. Okay, now we're playing. Think I'm messing around? You think this is a game? Nice. Wee wee, rare, rare, rare. What is all this? <laughs> a jerry rigged uh, flat skillet. Nice. All right, so add 50 milliliters of cream to the pot. Oh, hold on. 50 milliliters of cream to the pot. Stir that pot. That's what's up. And oh, come on. Little, 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 little too much. It's fine though. All right. And we need 20 milliliters of cactus oil. Well, we have 10 milliliters right here. Can we? Oh, oh, oh. Waste not, want not. That's 10. This is another 10. Well, tw 12. We're working on it. Prepare a deep plate, eh? Ooh. Gladly I will. Uh, I don't understand how we uh, have cash. <laughs> like, really? With a ladle. Hey, it's a ladle. Hey. It's like, hey, we have a whole bunch of cash here. How good is that? Like, what's, what's that going to do? What can I trade cash for in the apocalypse? Just asking for a friend, mostly myself. Set aside the finished dish for serving. This is done, y'all. I'd like to see someone talk some ish. That's right, I gotta heat it up. Oh, sold dishes. Green mushroom soup 50. Yeah, but who did I sell it to? Who did I sell it to? Although I do like this game. This, this is definitely, definitely interesting for sure. You prepared and you are leaving the shelter to travel to the broadcast station. Last desperate hope of finding your family. Each step reminds you of your long journey. As you approach the station, you pray that the radio is working. But it's not. No, you get inside the building and rush to the radio, ignoring the fact that this place was abandoned many years ago. You try to turn on the power, but to no avail. After a while, you realize the power unit isn't the only thing missing. Radio cables, microphone, and headphones are nowhere to be found, and the screen is shattered. No streaming for you, bud. No streaming for you. Another futile effort. Another dead end. You emerge from the satellite building devastated and disillusioned. Lost in your thoughts, you almost miss the rumble of engines in the distance. Oh! You notice a caravan on the horizon. A flicker of hope shines upon you. They could get you the parts you need. They could. Unless they're panthers. This can't work. This can work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filled with determination, you direct your steps towards the shelter. Alright. There's still a glimpse of hope. You just need to find a way to contact other people in Sector 12 so you can obtain the necessary parts. On your way back, you saw a caravan traveling through the wastelands. That's your chance. It's time to roll up your sleeves and prepare something special. Something they have never seen or tasted before. The way to a caravan's heart is through its stomach. Like a virus. Alright. Pin the recipe carp on a stick. Carp on a carp on a stick. It's carp. On a stick. Beautiful. Alright. Season the fish. Some mint grommet. Gross. Mint grommet. Interesting. Put that there on the cutting board. None of this has been sanitized. 
feel like I'm just making more and more of a mess. Oh, it's a good thing we have. I'm like going in here. What's up? What's, what's up in here? <gasps> we can plant. Oh, we can start a garden in here. Oh, that's wild. We can grow our own food, everybody. All right, 10, 10 grams, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Or I can change the amount. And now it's a 10. Drizzle the mixture over the fish. Drizzle what mixture over the fish? All right, so add to a bowl. Cactus oil, mustard, cactus juice. Nice. Okay. So we got 10 milliliters of cactus oil. Crushing it. All right, let's see. We have mustard and cactus juice. Cactus juice. Necessary. Delicious, mind you. Delicious. Five milligrams of that. Four. Ah, it's seven. Eh, we're fine. Little dash, little spice. And five milliliters of mustard. That's exactly how you pour mustard out. We drizzle that mixture. Oh, wait, hold on. We got to get this. Got to drizzle, drizzle, baby. Drizzle, drizzle. Love it. Just a splash. Just, just a hint. All right, skewer the red carp, which that's exactly what we will do. Oh my God. <laughs> I like how this thing has four eyes. Big fan. Put that there. Crank it up, baby. Transfer onto a plate, serve warm with pride. I made a little bit of a mess. Can I get a sponge, somebody? Sponge. Put that there. I will say this. It's gonna be delicious. I can feel it. I can feel it. What's this map about? I'm home speed home. You are here. Okay. Satellite dishes over there. USA, Sector 12. 16 years after the fall. Well, we're the legends of the fall. That's right. All right, and you are a done, my friend. Let's turn you off. Always remember to turn off. Put that back. And we must serve the dish. Booyakasha. Save all you like. Now what? Now what do you want me to make? Rat with fries. Interesting. Interesting. I will gladly make some rat with fries. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have a cutting board. Okay, so we don't have any kind of juices on here. Good, good. Let's grab this plate. I also notice there's a trash bin underneath here, too, so you can just go and do your business. All right, so we got 10 milliliters of barbecue sauce. All right. Drizzle in barbecue sauce, 10 milliliters. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna grab the pipette. Boom. And then all we gotta do is drizzle. Looks like oil. Okay. And now we have to fry the meat. Oh. Get it going a little bit, get it going a little bit. Whew. Nice. All right, cut the potato into four, oh, potatoes. Four equal parts, you got it. They call me Mr. Equal Parts. One, two, I mean, that's 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 about as good as you're ever gonna see. What are we at here? All right, so we need cactus oil. 200 milliliters of cactus oil, add to a pot. Oh no. All right, so we only have 205 milliliters left of this, so we might as well just use it all. And uh, that's done. What are you? Okay. I'm gonna take this bowl. Can I snag all of you up? I can. Enjoy. 
In you go. Oh, geez. Uh, we're all good? Everything's good here. How are you? Put that down. Sure. <laughs> sure, bud. Uh, yeah, let's grab you. I forgot to cook. I forgot to cook that. I forgot to cook it. Transfer onto a plate. We're doing it. I wasn't paying attention. It's still hot. That's good. That's a good. That's a good thing. Very good. Skirt. Skirt. Beautiful. All right. So we fry these potatoes for 35 seconds, huh? Oh, we got to turn off the heating plate. My bad. Alrighty. And we serve this dish. Rat and potatoes were amazing. This was like a five-star dish. They should be they should be so appreciative. What a day. They call me Mila Run. Hello, Mila. How are you? And that's my caravan. Nice. We supply Sector 12 with food, and you look like someone who knows how to prepare it. We saw you coming back from the old antennas. Only a wacko looks looks for luck out there. But you know what? I see you made some tasty looking dishes. How about a little exchange? Oh, what are you gonna give me there, Mila? Huh? You know what are you gonna give me? Oh, money. Okay, okay. Oh, sold dishes details. Details? Can I get details? The deets? Here you find comments about your customers. Oh, let's say surprisingly picky for people who enjoy eating worms every day. I hear you. Look at this. Perfect. Fried potatoes. Technique. Bad cutting technique. <laughs> the balls. Look at this. Five stars. We're the greatest chefs of all time. We're amazing. Carp on a stick. Everything is perfect. Perfect technique. Perfect technique in, in, in cooking this gross fish. Have you ever tasted carp? It tastes like ass. Perhaps civilizations and nations have fallen, but trade remains strong. Enough money will buy you virtually anything. Well, good, because we're going to need some more cactus oil. Which I never thought I'd ever say in my whole life. It's interesting. Perhaps civilization has fallen with trees. Okay. I'm happy to make some uh, something besides the food, but remember that transport also costs, so don't count on the best prices. One person's junk is another person's also junk. Right. Here's a selection of Wasteland's most exclusive merchandise. Keep an eye on it, but I advise against trying to steal anything and no refunds. Oh, look at this. Products, liquids, spices, miscellaneous. For easier understanding, we've divided things into tabs. You probably associated this arrangement with other caravans scattered around the sectors. Of course, of course, that's how I, that's how I know all you caravans. You know, we don't want to be worse than those from the 10th. I don't know those people from the 10th, but I, I, apparently before what you're saying, they're awful. To change between tabs, use the buttons A and D. Okay. I see you have some nice scrap here, but none of it interests me. But this can, can of canned meat looks delicious. Does it? Does it? Let's say I buy it for eight. Deal? Double click on the product to sell it. Uh, how about ten? All right, space. The first rule of Wasteland is that food is the most important thing, preferably homemade. You can try to grow something from these seeds, but I don't know what will come of it. Maybe a mushroom. When buying an additional window, should appear on the select quality. Miscellaneous green mushroom seedling rat lore. Ladles, ladles, they made me out of clay. Spatula, spatula, red mushroom seedling. Small pot, pipette, swing mad pipe, bro. Big pots, knives, fire extinguishers, gas bottles, blue mushroom seedlings. I'm very, very interested. The first rule of Wasteland is that food is the most important thing, preferably homemade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buy a green mushroom seedling. You got it. Will do. This game's wild. Let's grab two of them. Okay, let's grab two. Nice. If you're going to trade food with us, you need a hunting weapon. You can take my old rifle. I think of it as investing in the future, so I'd better not find you tomorrow with a hole in your knee or anything. Listen, don't, uh, don't give me grief. All right, so ammo, 10. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Buy you and a rifle. I will buy you. Nice. A Sector 11 chef told, sold me these uh, useless papers. They look like recipes, so I'm happy to give you them, and uh, as long as you don't uh, you know, uh, don't use them either. Okay, okay, uh, it's best to write them down in your cookbook. I will. That was it. A very productive day for you. I hope that my small investment will pay off in the form of valuable, well-prepared dishes. It's kind of, uh, kind of pushy. So here we go. And you better get to work. The seedlings won't plant themselves, and the mutant rats won't jump into the pot for a hot bath of their own. I feel that this is the beginning of a very beneficial cooperation. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. What are you coming here tomorrow for? Uh, liquids. We need cactus oil. Something fierce, bud. Uh, let's get two of those. Gonna need some sour cream. Cactus juice. I believe we have another bottle of that, so we'll be real wary. Water. Oh, you gotta pay $10 for water? Sure. Not gonna drink any of the garbage that we have out there. All right, next. Go to the surface. We're going hunting for rats. Who would have thought in Cooking Simulator it would have turned into Hunting Simulator and then you get to hunt? Then you get to cook what you hunt? No ammo. Alright. Right, okay. Yeah, to aim it. So it's like any first person shooter. Gotcha. Hey guys. Got him. How do I get out of here? Oh, so this is more like a shooting range than anything else. Gotcha. That one better count. That one had better count. I like how we have clay pigeons here too. Oh, hey guys. Get wrecked. Put it back on the rack. And then we go downstairs because we have, apparently we use telekinesis. We teleport them in with our minds. Meat is automatically added to spawners after hunting a mutant. If you basically reduce the mutant population, you will need to wait for it to naturally increase again. Sure. I suppose. Planting seedlings. Oh. There's all sorts of goings on in here, man. Alright, so here's our green mushroom seedlings. Pick one. Anyone. I dares ya, I dares ya, I tells ya. Okay. Take two green mushroom seedlings and plant them. Okay. And then we water the seedlings. Oh look, we got some, is this agua? It is. How much? How much do we feed them? 100 milliliters per, per pot. Okay. It's not giving me anything. Unlike what I just added to this. It's not giving me any like 100 milliliters. I'm only guessing. Okay, so I guess that that's good. Fill the ground. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so the liquid type of uh, liquid type used to water a seedling has no impact on the plants. All seedlings need one night to grow. Nice. It's because the mutants be sure to check back tomorrow to harvest crops. Watch out. Plants left unattended too long can mutate into monsters. Well, then we'll shoot them in the mouth and then we'll eat them. It's a good thing. Fantastic. Hunt and farm. We're, we've hunted. we farmed. Use the clock to finish the day. It's been a very busy day. A very, very busy day. Clock's all the way up here. Awesome. You know what? I don't, actually. I need to clean some stuff up here. Uh, this is, this is going to bother me. Do I not have a sponge? Yeah, we got a sponge right here. Cleanliness is next to godliness, my friends. Oh, 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 oh. You know what they say, my friends. A clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Never forget that. Write that down. How much is in here? Oh, okay, so we got we got plenty of this. All right, so is there any way I can put this back into here? Seemed like that would be the best thing to do. Nope. Okay, it's just going to sit here and rot. Awesome. Let's just put that there. I suppose we'll end the day. Sure. Huh, huh. Caravan has arrived, sold dishes. I didn't know that there was going to be dishes that I need to make. Here you have the entire map of Sector 12. The faction that you are currently working with will be shown here. You will be able to check your progress and make some extra cash by accepting uh, additional orders. Oh, okay, cool. Special orders are great for getting rich quickly. You will have to meet the special requirement within a limited amount of time. But if you manage to do so, you will get nice reward. Oh, however, if you fail... 
You will have to pay a small cash penalty. I spoke to the leaders of the camps. You seem like a smart guy, which is why I have an offer for you. Oh my God, if you, prove, if you can prove to me that you're a good cook, I'll introduce you to another leader. Oh, there are a lot of rats around your shelter. I hate rats. Their only advantage is that they have uh, made a delicious ravine. Oh yes. Maybe you could make use of that rifle? I just did that. I just, I just, I will be here tomorrow at 2020, so make sure you have something to trade by that time. How about you watch your mouth? Thanks for the gun. Mind your, mind your manners. Maximum radiation 12. What is all this? Special. Rat shashlik, shashlik, vegetarian dish. That's the last thing you'd want. So two birds. Mila, the caravan leader, hates rats. Biting the wires in her caravan cars is an unforgivable sin. She only appreciates them if in their flavor. She should be delighted when I hunt a rat and prepare a dish from it. Hunt a mutated rat. Dish requirements. Product rat meat. Sounds good to me. Got any spices? Ooh, herbs and some chili flakes. Mint dried. $19. Ground cactus. Chili flakes. Oh, well, we already got some. That we do. I'll buy one more of these, though. Gee, yes, please, finally, end of the day. Oh, we got a busy day ahead of us. Day four? Oh, my God. So much is going on. So much has happened. But, folks, let me know what you think of this game in the comment section down below because it looks wild. It's actually wild. We're hunting wild rat. We're cooking it and serving it. It's everything I've ever dreamt. Oh, oh, green mushrooms. Yes. Collect the plants appear in the pantry and they assign spawner boxes. Nice. Okay, so you just pick them and you don't have to worry about putting them away. Awesome. I should have get we should definitely get more seeds so we have more ingredients to make more things. But that is gonna be our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Everyone, peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again. The Cooking Simulator Shelter. Next time.